Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. The things I want to look at today are two stocks that are trading in opposite directions. And with the, the, the tape this year uh, having, uh, having sort of taken a turn uh, to the more interesting side, I should say, um, where more stocks are trading up and some more stocks are trading down, um, there is more trading opportunity in individual stocks, but not yet so much in the broader tape as represented by the indices. So the two stocks I'm going to look at today is Netflix on the long side and Nokia on the short side. Both stocks just reported earnings a day and a half ago or so. Uh, Netflix had a big rally after earnings and Nokia fell apart. So let's look at Netflix, obviously a great trading stock. And basically what I would like to point out here, and I'm hope, hoping I can get this point across, is how important it is to look for once you have had a move, a breakout, or, or any significant move in a stock, you want to see if before that there was there were was sort of um, the uh, wording on the wall, so to speak, for signs that would confirm in retrospect the move. Now, in the case of Netflix, we certainly had that. What we had uh, though the past few days was a stock holding it to one day moving average. That's this blue line. And we had a couple of days, a couple of bullish so-called candlesticks with long, uh, with long tails. Those tails are represented here, and those, for those of you knowing how to read candlesticks, would would uh, certainly agree with me that they had a bullish undertone, which was most certainly confirmed by the breakout past this little pivot here, and then and then of course the 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 actual big move on Thursday itself, breakaway gap to brand new new highs. So from this point of view, you have a stock that's trading well, breaking out, holding, held good support. Um, from a trend perspective, the stock keeps trending. It did break its trend line a little bit. It's it's sort of a multi-month trend line, uh, but in the broader uh, spectrum was never really uh, time to short the stock. There was a time back in October when it was a good, there was a good option trade setting up that I discussed at the time, but otherwise the stock remains good on the long side. And unless it starts falling apart here quickly to give up all the, a lot of the gains from Thursday, looks like it has room to 410, 420 dollars. Nokia is, is really the opposite of that. The stock um, has basically done a really good trend reversal now. And by trend reversal, I don't mean that the stock is going to fall to into the abyss, but I do mean the stock is now probably going to. Uh, be fighting much more headwinds if it wants to keep pushing higher. Um, here in September, it gapped higher on some on some good news back then, but ever since uh, it got into the November period, what really happened is it started going sideways. And uh, it's a classic case of a stock that's that's doing a, a trend reversal. You can see that it first uh, moved higher. Now it's going. Then it went sideways, and with yesterday's break, really, it's going lower. So it's a a three point. It's like a three point turn in a car. It's the same exact thing. It's no. There's no brain surgery uh, involved in this. This is really straightforward stuff. And um, if we just focus on the price action, we see this stock is now certainly breaking down. Could be a short for uh, you know five to ten percent lower. Other than that, it's just something not to touch on the long side. Hope this makes sense. Take care.